So we have the Nuna versus the Britex. This one's the Nuna, this is the Britex. Hey girl. Oh goodness gracious, she got off her little wires. Let's get all this stuff up. First impressions is, I'd say they both look pretty comfy. Uh, this one looks as snug as a bug. Well, this one, she looks good, but she looks like she has a little bit of her, we've noticed that their heads tend to kind of cock to the sides, um, where this one kind of keeps them a little bit more sit upright. Um, so I'd say that uh, for as a winner, as far as comfort and support, it'd be the Britex. Um, as far as style, Miss Dakota over here, girl, you're working it. Wow. So this flap comes all the way over, but it doesn't tend to like stay all the way. Even like one in hand, I'm having a hard time. Uh, this thing can flap in and flap out. Um, and then I do like the fact that you have these little peekaboo mirrors. Um, while they're so small, they don't really do anything because all I see is the back of her head. So we don't really use that feature yet. But hopefully when she gets older. Um, let's talk over here at Miss Fussy. How you doing, girl? How you doing? So one thing I do like about the Britax is that this thing is a lot more sturdy and just pops right open. Where the other one feels a little bit more flimsy. Uh, this one doesn't have a back flap, um, which in my opinion is fine. But what do you think, girl? You feel comfortable? I like the shape of this handle, but one thing is that I normally don't carry them just like this. I normally stick my arm in and down and carry them like that or do the kind of curls for girls, for my baby girls. Um, with the Britax, it's a lot harder and I'll do a wide version in a second when my wife comes in. But one thing I really do like about the Nuna is the fact that I have this just straight bar and I'm not having to work around things where this one, it looks cool but I'm always working around it. I like it to right here, pick it up here, curls for girls, or you can get fussy, or I can grab it here and then pick her up this way. Brian, what do you think? You like it? Yeah. And then with this guy, the only thing is that I can't really, I can hold it like this, hold it like this, but can't really do that little thing because it saves you, even if you're doing this, you're still kind of being pulled this way. No twins, they kind of balance you out. But one thing I like about doing this is that it keeps you level. You're not leaning one way. Um, so as far as handles, the Nuna wins in my opinion. Let's get you out, girl. Up is in the Britax. It seems like the parts don't quite, I don't know, they're just not as fluid when you say baby. Um, as the Nuna. But one thing I do like, I like these shoulder straps a lot better because they're thinner. And especially for a little seven pound, little seven pound preemie. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Um, I feel like they. Uh, don't pinch their necks as much whereas in the Nuna we had to take the little shoulder pads off and I feel like there's just a potential to be a little uncomfortable around their necks so let's get sister out alright so this is I'm going to be taking out um, our twin Dakota out of her Nuna Pippa and she might get a little fussy so sorry about that guys so this is a little inconvenient I have to push up and then push down. Um, let me give her her up oh, real quick because you know. So. There we go. Get the little wubba nub. That solves it all. Yeah, these straps aren't that fun to take off. So. I feel like taking her out can be a little. One thing is this thing always comes out with it. Um, which is super annoying, yeah. which I know why, you know, because you want to wash that. With, but this one, it comes off too, but it, it tends to stay on there. Yeah. Um, and you only have two options with these two as far as, like, where you can put your baby, um, depending on the size, which I, I don't think it's bad. Um, I think, you know, for the, the weight, 
limit um, in comparison to the Vertex. Um, versus this one, the tank off the support, um, have a couple it's more. a lot. Um, <laughs> all right, all out. Time for a dapper change. So here's one epic thing that I think makes a huge difference is when you have someone in there, it's just boom, in. I really like the Nuna as far as when you're clicking it in. Um, when you insert it into the car, it just clicks right into those buckles. And then it has like a little green thing. Uh, my wife and I are always about the little details and this lets you know if it's on there or not. Um, I'll show you this little leg pull as well. Uh, if I could fit it around in there. It has uh, a little lever down at the bottom and shows you if it's level or not. And every little knob tells you that. So to take them out, there's a little lever right here. You just pull that out. And so I'm gonna try to do this with the camera. Just one click and we're out. Uh, super easy. All right, so now for the Britek. Put it in. It's just as easy. I'd say the only thing, I feel like it's a little bit more clunky and harder to, like I'm still trying to line this thing up. Obviously I wouldn't be. The only thing that I found difficult was removing it is just as easy. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to do it. Um, but the little clips that hook in, my wife and I tried for like 20 minutes and we couldn't get these things out. We got one out, but we couldn't get the other one, and it was just so frustrating. Um, I'd say the thing about this is that it's just big and heavy and clunky. It's because when you're trying to get your baby in and there's the sun beaming down on his or her face, all you want to do is be able to get them in and get them out. And we're, we live in 2017, like they're safe. Um, but I'd say, if you're carrying your baby around and there's an extra 15 pounds, unless you're a bodybuilder, that, that extra weight really does weigh on you. Overall, I, for our twins, you know, our twins are a little bit smaller, I would go with the Nuno Pippa. Nuno Pippa for the win! Even though the Vertex um, Be Safe is just as amazing and... Um, for those who are looking for something more affordable, a little bit more sturdier, um, feel a little bit safer, I would go with the um, Protex Be Safe. Um, but if you know you have someone who wants to, you know, gift you guys a blessing, um, you know, with the price tag of it being two ninety nine, um, I think it's you know Cha worth worth all of every cent. Stop doing that review, mom, and come fix me. This is real life. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you can afford it, get it, because it makes a world of a difference for just the little details. Winner, winner chicken dinner. Uh, please let us know if there's anything that we could be praying for you individually. Uh, if you have any comments on as far as your opinions on either one, um, if you have any advice for parents of twins, because the Lord knows we need it, baby. You guys want us to do a review on the uh, four mom, mama roos. We love them. I know a lot of people have kind of mixed emotions about it. Some babies don't like them, some babies do. So let us know. Peace out.